the knot that's not a knot, the what knot. Absolutely brilliant piece of equipment. If you don't have one, you should get one. What not? Just been shown this this morning, um, and still putting it in like that, tighten it up, not going anywhere, and then with undoing it. Very easy to find the button because it sticks out in comparison to all the rest of it. Uses that really sort of loop anywhere you like on the rope. Any size loop you like either as well. Actually, I'll make that a little bit smaller because as the rope's a little bit shorter. Uh, so create the loop. Put it around what you're tying to, which could be a beam or a hook or anything else. This is the only thing I can find with a hook on the farm. Um, just with a quick look round, put it through the through there, down through the whatnot. Simple as that. Pull as much tension as you like on that rope. As much as you like. You can hear the tension in it. Twist it shut. It's locked off. Loads of tension in the rope, tying something down really, really well. Um, to undo it, simple press the button and twist, and done. And again, simple press the button and twist is undone, and you're all clean rope, do whatever you want with. show you here is um, a piece of furniture too big could be a compost bin could be anything from a garden center furniture store moving house moving your children into student digs um, anyway the boot lid won't close down so what we've got is an accessory hook um, which takes the place of when the lock uh, locks down there so what you do is simply bring it down push the flat piece against it and it locks around it so that's locked press the button and it's undone push it in very simply and that's locked press the button and done so that's how you put the the hook in there so you now have got somewhere to tie a rope um, on a lot of vehicles that's a major issue it's usually the rear windscreen wiper and you're breaking it so we then just very simply put the rope through there put the rope through the other part of where we've uh, got something to tie to put the rope into the whatnot just draw the two down together Tighten it up and done. Simple as that. Simple as that and as quick as that. And then when you've finished, just press the button, undo, lift it up, press the button on the boot, done. And that takes seconds. If you're tying and fiddling around and untying knots, it takes a lot longer. Alright, this video. Um, is about the using the whatnot on our hooks with rope tying the van doors. Now you can see there's no handles on these doors, no place you can tie um, anything to. So if you've got something in there that's too tall, too long, too um, whatever, you can't tie the door, what you do is use our hook again. And you just push it in simply like that. And you can push another one into the uh, bottom like that. So you've then got many places to use the rope and the whatnot. So we can put the rope, you've instantly got somewhere really secure to um, tie the whatnot. You've then got the locking point as you would here, which is the normal locking point on the van. So you can use that to tie anything you want to. And it's not only our rope that it works on, it works on any rope. So I mean, let's say we wanted to fix it, I don't know, in a halfway position, so it's not on the lock. You've got something pushing against that, you'd lock it off there, and that's perfect. I'm just gonna leave it out. Um, so you would lock that on there. Right, so what we've got here is this um, cheap polypropylene rope as well. Um, works on any rope. So you can just tie that through, put it through the locking point on the van, put it through the whatnot. Very quickly and easily tie it off. So 
So any rope you like, just using the hooks and the whatnots to tie really, really quickly, really, really easily. And it's safe and secure, and you can just put that around a couple more turns, and it's done. And that's just using the hook. Now, if you just press the button, both of these are probably full out. There you go, and done. What That's we've got here, imagine this as a trailer, a roof rack or a um, base of a van, so you're tying this down, fragile goods, stuff that you don't want flying around, suitcases on your roof rack, anything at all. Works on many, many ropes, um, virtually all the ropes, and um, this is used for water sports, for water skin and things like that, tied off, locked on. What I did there with the um, fender was to, um, was to create a pulley in the rope, make a loop, pull it tight, lock it off, done. Different thicknesses of rope. Many people ask us, well, what about joining different thicknesses? Different thicknesses of rope there, you can see one's double the thickness of the other, locked off easily. Hello, what I'd like to show you here is the difference between a what knot and an ordinary knot if you can tie knots. If you can't tie knots, you're going to see how simple and easy it is, um, not even bothering with them. Um, so, with a what knot, you're sliding up and down, you're tying it, you're untying it, as quick as that, as quick as. I mean, it's, it's a second at most. Um, you're just pulling it up, and that could be tying anywhere. Um, and it does tie anywhere. Now, what I want to show you is if you can tie knots, um, and anybody can basically tie this knot, um, but when you're tying knots, you've got to tie to something. Now, I'm ho having to hold that weight up, which is fine, um, and I've just tied a simple knot there. And it's it's holding to a degree, but you'd have to put another loop in, which you can just leave. Um, just leave that with a loop coming out, and then it'll be fine. Um, so you pull that out. Now you've got this is a lightweight. Um, now you could be tying stuff up in the garage roof shed, uh, many different things, canoes, roof racks, roof boxes that you want to tie into the garage roof. Um, it's going to weigh more than that. Now to undo that, which is a simple knot is you know because it's got the tension on it all the time it's difficult so if you lift the weight which you may not be able to do it comes undone easy um, but what I want to show you is with the what not is the fact you don't have to tie it you can tie it anywhere you can tie it up there if you want to but that's out of reach so I'm going to tie it down here which is perfect position for me I can adjust it I can do whatever I like with it I can adjust it to the nearest millimeter and that's what you can do with a what knot which you can't do with a knot um, so if you can't tie a knot you don't need to you just need to use what knots um, even if you can tie knots this is so much quicker so much easier so much I mean I'm stood on the floor it's a nice place to tie knots thanks very much probably in rope rain there um, and I'm gonna start hanging myself from it stood in a loop um, and I'll do that in a minute but it's going to show you the strength and what you do if you're going to hang or put a lot of weight onto the rope what you do is you tie a half hitch which is the first part of tying your shoelace on the load side of the uh, whatever you're tying so on the load side and then you can um, that will then take more weight and even up to over 600 kilos right so what we have here um, is the strap I'm just going to show you what we do here which you would do with the rope as well so a simple straight loop like that no knot so it's a half hitch um, you then put the what knot or the material you're using um, the strap or the rope through the what knot you pull it up to the the half hitch there yeah that's, I'll pull that up just so you can make sure you see it um, in there because the camera's set fairly high I'll pull that up there so you've got the half hitch in there, pull it to there. Now that's on the load side. So it's on the load side of, of the whatnot. This is the loose ends. So what I'm gonna do now is put my foot in there as a loop. Hopefully it's not too high. Put my foot in there as a loop. And to start with, I'm gonna be pulling myself up on the rope. And then I will let go of the rope and just be solely on the strap. And you can see my 16 and a half stone is hanging on 13 mil rope and the strap like so um, on a whatnot. Now this is removable strap. Um, I'm going to get down there. 
because I'm just spinning around and now you can see the strength of that and I'll just undo it simple as that and because it's not a knot it's a half hitch it just comes undone like that in seconds hopefully that's shown you um, not only the whatnots working on the rope above me um, but also on this strap which is um, removal strapping thank you